Wait or fight. Alright. So. When last we met our heroes, or shall we say, nobodies without parents. Um, hey. Hi, parents. <laughs> uh, they my had daughter, parents. recently graduated from the Radiant Academy to be uh, whisked away on a mission in which they all uh, uh, joyously uh, joined, because I can't think of a better word right now, very eager to you know, repay Calliope Far Strider for her greatness. Um, eventually finding their ways to a farm er by the name of Goodwin. I'm going by memory here. Um, Chase Goodwin, to be precise, um, who told them about um, some bandits that have been bothering him and his, his friends and stealing from their farms and slaughtering their sheep uh, for food, making her way to uh, through the woods following his uh, instruction to meet a young lad um, who was fishing. Um, eventually hearing some uh, animal noises and uh, feeling just kind of creeped out by you guys, he ran off to which you guys were ambushed, uh, making haste of these bandits um, and then eventually finding your way into the mine. Uh, doing pretty well. Um, feeling pretty confident opening doors and um, stealthily walking through, tossing some ball bearings, thus the red circle, um, and eventually ending the night, half of you in a pit, and half of you not. So, Andy, I think you're first. What do you do? Shit, are we in... Oh, shit. <laughs> are we like... Okay, I... Um... Sabathris uh, gets up. Um, he he kind of he kind of rolls up to his his feet, um, and then in his mind, um, I don't remember if I was already connected with um, Grin, but he will he will reconnect with with, with Grin mm -hmm. mentally, um, and yeah, then girl. as he as he basically. Um, he goes up into a kneel and reaches his his arm up uh, towards the towards the edge of the uh, the pit wall. Um, so he's gonna kind of like turn himself into a ramp, and he says, "Go ahead, friend. You can climb me." And I would like to use my action to assist Grin in getting out of here. Nice. Uh, and you guys, um, I kind of put us in tor torn order to uh, try to, try to okay. keep track of what's going on. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to stay that way. Um, okay. You guys can both make a perception check um, as to mm. look around I the do, pit. I do believe that the pit door closed again it, over it us. It did. Uh, you recall it was a uh, oh, right. connected in the four corners. It was like a, like a triangular door. Yeah, so it like boom and then yeah. like sealed back up. So it opens down. Uh, yes, but you guys... Um, we ended with you falling into it, so you haven't actually oh, looked around. In that case, he may, he may do he may make like a little saddle with his uh, with his hands. Say, I can boost you if you would like to take a look. Uh, perception. Mm. 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 Uh, so you guys notice that this is a um, uh, <clears throat> a stoned in pit. Uh, you kind of look up, and in the dim light, you do see this almost like the seal around it. There isn't like an overlap. It's that the stone are so smooth, uh, but you do see kind of through it uh, above you. Um, you you also notice that it's uh, like a solid square, so it's about ten feet deep. Um, but um, grin as you're kind of looking around, um, you know, and um, Sabathurus is is offering you his hands. Um, you're, you're kind of looking for anything to grab onto or even a release. Uh, Savathurst, it's you that uh, you kind of look um, kind of around quickly uh, and realize, um, well, there's a chain right here. Right to the right of you. Um, so, can, I roll, <coughs> can I roll my, um, my investigation? 
Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, hold on. Now my perception mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to see if this um, chain is directly connected to the mechanism of the door. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you roll another one. Bleep. Bleep. Um, you you take a moment after you catch uh, Spathus' eyes uh, kind of uh, looking at this chain that's hanging in the corner. Uh, yeah. you, follow, you follow it up, and you see um, gears. Um, and as you're kind of looking around, you also see there's a, a little uh, post that's sticking out below where the chain ends. And you get the feeling like this is some sort of um, um, either emergency, you're trapped in your trunk and you need to get out. Uh, or maybe even like a way to clean out dead bodies and keep it open. Okay. Yeah, this right here looks like it might do the trick. <laughs> I'm gonna yank on it. Yeah, give a strength check. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. Yeah, you, uh, you you reach up and you kind of grab onto it and you this right here seems to do the trick and you start pulling on it, it doesn't seem to move at all so you just kind of jump and it just and the whole uh, trap system kind of comes back in. Uh, you're struggling but you're holding on to it. I'm gonna try to set it on the peg, <laughs> to yeah. hook part of the chain on the peg. Uh, also with that 14, it, it it takes you a moment. Uh, Savathers, you see him kind of struggle but the whole time he's smiling and eventually there's a clip. And it like slips onto the peg and it, it holds tight open. Ah, to do it. So that Savathris so was just like watching the whole time, like, yes, yes. <laughs> just just a little mouse like wiggling my butt trying to pull this thing down. Get <laughs> it, get it. it. <laughs> you can do it. Get it. So uh, how he's about just, that he's boost? Just sort of there the whole time watching. <laughs> <laughs> how about that boost? I cannot do that yet. First. <laughs> One of these. <laughs> can you can you lower it a little bit? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, in, in the meantime, what are the other two do, doing? So, so the, the, uh, I, I'll go I, I'll go investigate to see if there's a way to open it from the top. You're trying to open Meow from the top of the trap? Yeah. Or are you looking down the hallway? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. I, no, I, no, I, she will look at she will look and issue and say, do you want to keep a lookout or help them? Uh, I can aid the uh, our stuck party members. She will nod, and then she will kind of just... Is this like a column right here? Ah, uh, yes it is. And there is a torch on it. Blink. She's gonna kind of hang up behind the column and listen and watch down the hall. Kind of keep keep watch while they dig around. Dig in the uh, As as you're kind of um, you know watching and listening, uh, go ahead and um, you know both of you just make a perception check. For mm -hmm. Yeah. How loud was the was the door trap going? By the way, um, there was a immediate like. <laughs> So it, yep. it echoed. Um, yep. All right. So Rachel, you you um, you hear your counterpart kind of like tiptoe down the hallway uh, with mm -hmm. his nineteen stealth check. I made notes. Um, uh, and you don't necessarily notice anything else, uh, but then you you both do hear a the hooters are back. Damn owls, owls again. Fucking owls. Why are there owls in a mine? Yeah, well, they uh, ran out of canaries. Uh, <laughs> hey. Wow. Sorry, uh, this hey. one. Wow. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, replicate the owl sound that I did last. Um, Make an intelligence, intelligence check. Jesus, I can talk tonight. <laughs> That's not even the booze. I just I can't talk. Yeah. All right, yeah, go ahead and uh, make your performance check with disadvantage. Oh yeah. That's good. Yeah, what's it sound like, Chris? Um sounds like <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I mean, you've heard owls before. I mean, you've documented owls. Uh, and the great screech owls sound just like this. And you're really impressed with yourself. Uh, yeah, everyone else just hears this. <laughs> and you hear an immediate re reply from the owls going, and they seem to, like, be popping up all over uh, your surrounding areas. I got a bad um, feeling about this. Ishnu, right as you're replying, the uh, the trapdoor slowly like, and you see uh, your two counterparts that are down there uh, give give each other a high five. <laughs> I'll, I'll look up and say, "Hey, uh, Ish, can you give me a hand here?" <laughs> Certainly, I'll try to grab Grin. I will. I will use. Uh... Savvy's boost to get up to him and then grab his hand. Yeah. I mean, Spathrus is well over six feet himself. Oh, you, yeah, you could easily. With his wingspan, I'm sure he could probably just like <laughs> jump and catch the ledge. Green, you're like scrambling. Your tail's kind of. I'm assuming you have a tail because you're. I do have a tail. Yeah. yeah, it's like whipping around. It keeps hitting Spathrus and then he just like, <laughs> like basketball star, like dunks and pulls himself up. I, I would help Grant up first. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, Ishtar was helping, so it's fine. Yeah, he, he, he dragged me the rest of the way up. I, I get up and I, I just kind of dust myself off and I look Savathras up, up and down. I'm like, show off. <laughs> you need to exercise. I don't need to do Jack. <laughs> By you the way, I totally saw this. I was just trying to catch you. I also forgot that you're twice my size, so... <laughs> it was a noble no instinct. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh... Who, who, what the... Who the hell keeps doing that? I shall say. <laughs> Best rogue ever. Oh, my God. Fucking amazing. <laughs> I, I am. Um, who? I've worked with these people. Do I know? Maybe I'll have a We all have dark, dark vision from Andy still currently. That's right. Yeah. yeah, you do. I, I want to douse this torch. Okay. Just just know our perception checks will have disadvantage. Yeah, that's all done. But if we're up against humans, they can't see us at all. That's right. That's true. Because one of the bandits was an elf, right, or a half elf. And, but remember, it's 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 also what you're looking into. So if we're looking into bright light, well, we won't have disadvantage. It's only if we're looking into total darkness. And what were the bandits so far? Was there a half elf? Am I remembering that? I don't honestly remember. I think that the he was just a young man. I don't think he okay. had, he was like pale skinned or something. He wasn't okay. I yeah. want to douse the torch. All right. Yeah. You walk over. Uh, there are all are ball bearings there, so just you know. Uh, yeah, but I know. Oh, yeah, they're watch. Be a little careful there. Careful there. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna have to move over. Um, there's one on the. Uh, yeah, there's one there, and then uh, oh, I think I just denied you. Uh, oh, denied. <laughs> denied. Denied. Um, denied. How are you dou mm. dousing the lights? Is the torch attached to the wall, or can I pull it off? Yeah, they're like. Um, Sconces? Crude sconces. Just like one of those torches that are like set in there. Yeah, I pull the torch out. You do so. And then I pee on it. No, I just like put it <laughs> I, I just like put it, like it. The, I put it down I mean, into I, the dirt. I'd expect that from like fall, winter, <laughs> spring. Jeez. She's autumn right now. Oh, um, sorry. My bad. Yeah, yeah then that's she's fine. Content. Uh, she's content to pee wherever. No, I, I pee where <laughs> I, I like... <laughs> And I just, like, <laughs> like, I'm putting out a cigarette on the ground. All right. Yeah, it, I mean, it takes you a moment or two. Yeah, um, I step on it and, like, kick some dirt on it. But just, uh, and uh, make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> I catch my foot on fire. It's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, I mean. I just want to put the stamp torch out. You take two points of fire damage as you, like, <laughs> stamp it out. Uh, and, and as oh, you're doing so, uh, well, you tried to stamp out a fire. Um, <laughs> and then as you're doing so, you kind of kick a couple ball bearings. Um, make a perception check. 
Hey, why do you hate us? Hey, I have those nicely arranged. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, these rolls. Oh, yeah. that's karma. That's karma. I mean, you kick a All couple the rolls of them are and you hear you hear him go, ding, 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 but you're not really sure where all they went, uh, but you only kicked a couple, so I mean, yep. Yep. Cool, you know, cool. how bad could it be? Yep, I rolled a four and two fives so far. <laughs> uh, but you you have officially doused both lights. Um, I will say that you can see there is a uh, torchlight. Can I make, I can make another circle, right? Yeah, can, can you make torchlight? Yeah, I, I don't want to put all of them out, I just want it to be darker where we're standing. Can you make, like, torchlight with the effects? Dave? That would be sweet. Not yet. The Not yet. Okay. Yeah. The uh, working on light and vision. So that's the other torch, and it's it's radiating dim light around that area. Okay. Which so, is bright and press. Yeah, so where you are right now, it's, it's pitch black. That also means beyond that area, anyone without dark vision won't be able to see. Yep. Um... Andy, so there's a door next to you. Uh, yes, there is a door next to you. Have we been through this door? I whisper. Have we been through this door? I think they were listening against it. I listened. That was before I fell in the pit. <laughs> I have not opened any doors. There are two doors. All right. Yeah, make a... Yeah, I guess it's going to be perception again. We're just heavy perception. So perceptive. Heavy oh, sh perception. 21! Yeah, man. Andy's heavy on the perception. Um, as you're listening to the door, you don't you don't hear anything. Um, however, you do... I would say uh, Rachel kicking the bull bearings happen around the same time. <laughs> um, you hear a very distinctive, like, stone being dropped down a well kind of height falling uh, as the bull bearings are being kicked. Like, it's not only just scurrying down the hallway, but possibly f have fallen into something. Like, maybe there's another pit. Like another oh, pit. I mean, maybe. Um, I will I will say to Milandra, um, there may be another pit ahead of you. Too bad we're not going to see it. <laughs> Best party ever. Uh, I would like to crack open the door beside me. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Um, he basically like just gets his gets his shoulder up against it and turns the knob. And then yeah. crack it open a couple inches. Make a strength check. Just flex on that door, Andy. Door flex. Uh, as you, um, it's one of those old iron like latch handles that you kind of lift up, and it lifts that like metal bar up. Sure. Um, and it lifts up perfectly fine, well oiled, doesn't make any noise. But as you kind of like slowly put your weight against it, it doesn't budge at all. <laughs> Perhaps you should work out more, Sabathus. Yes. Man, man, these these things just need a little oil. Here, I'm gonna reach in my bag and get my little oil flask. I'm gonna put a little bit on the hinges. There you go. Good as new. I'm gonna push against the door. Hey. Are you, are you opening the handle, or are you just pushing on the door? I assume he still has the handle pressed, but yeah. Oh well, he's so he's opening this one up here. Which one? The the one up top. Oh, there's a door up there. Yeah, there's two. Okay, that's where Great. I want to be then. Oh, okay. Met again. Met again. Um, <laughs> oh, you would well, see. You have to go around it. You can't just. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, as you oil it, um, you you take a moment or two. You kind of oil eat all the hinges, and then you uh, you try it again. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't move. What the. What kind of freaky deaky door is this? Wait a second. Does it have a lock? <laughs> uh, you you see that he's holding the actual handle mechanism, and it's it seems to be in the open position. Ah. 
Think it's barricaded? Yeah, maybe. I can try again. Yeah, give it a give it the old savvy oomph. May um I would like to send out my thoughts to Ilyana through my patron Athris and bless myself with guidance. Oh, you feel blessed. Uh, so, which, can I try again, again, DM? Yeah, do it. What's the worst that happens? I die. Darask. One day. One day. Um, <laughs> uh, it didn't give me a plus 1d4. That's fine, I'm going to roll it. You I don't know it. why I rolled it. I mean, I got a yeah. four. I'll take it. So, you know. Um... Yeah, you, you push against it, and you can actually hear part of the wood start to crack. Um, make an intelligence check. Yeah, it sounds like there's something back there. Can I make an intelligence check, too? Yeah, you're right there. That dice, whoa! Oh, yeah. Critical. Green, you're getting the feeling like there's something behind there. Could have been yeah. a cave-in, could have been anything. Uh, but Savathras, you clearly know... Uh, you can actually see that the door, as you're kind of like creaking and, and pushing, parts of the wood have actually started to separate, and you can see rubble behind there. Uh, you f you feel pretty confident it was some sort of cave-in or, or uh, intentionally barricaded. I feel confident that this was barricaded or cave-in. Yeah. I'm going to think this door is probably a no-go. Should we try <laughs> one of these other ones? Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, Andy, did you did you tell us that there might be a pit up ahead? I did. Okay. Um, yeah, I said it out loud. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. So I have kind of like these telekinetic powers. I can basically like open doors, unlock doors, um, or a, essentially apply like kind of ten pounds of pressure to something. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to apply 10 pounds of pressure to the four squares up ahead and see if the floor gives way. Uh, the ones that Grin's standing on, or...? Yeah, the ones in the circle that the... Uh, oh, where uh, the actual 10 is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you reach out with your mind and you kind of uh, push. Um, you feel resistance and nothing moves. Okay. I've tested the floor ahead with my mind, and it does not seem there does not appear to be any pit traps. Ah. Oh. Are the doors here? Oh, don't click it. That one. Sorry, that one. That, that one's a door. And just those two doors? Uh, that you see so far. I'm gonna lock well, that door, Dane. Sorry. Lock well, I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll pick up my ball bearings. <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of crawl on the floor, kind of looking for my ball bearings. Gonna. So that just goes up and helps you. <laughs> you know what? It seemed like a good idea at the time because I, we heard some some hooting and hollering from down here, mostly hooting. And uh, <laughs> you know, saw a couple doors. They come out. They slip. Comical so noises. Whoop whoop whoop. Savathras so <laughs> just looks up at you while he's picking up ball bearings, and he pauses in between a couple to go. Hold a finger to his lips. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I think I think everything that I just said back to you. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> Every single part. Yep. Uh, Melandra, what are you uh, what are you doing? Just keep a watch. Just keep a watch. nervous about like distracted, right. distracted by doors. Make a. Like, like, gonna come find us. Make a perception check at. So you're in dim light, so disadvantage. If if it's if it's to see something, unless they happen to be within that dim light ahead. Yeah, roll it at disadvantage, and I will account for. Maybe maybe a little higher than five. That would be that would be swell, team level. That'd be real good. That's real good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so a couple of things. You um, I don't want to. Okay, good. So from this direction, uh, you hear just a very faint um, creaking, uh, almost like someone maybe scuffed a rock. 
okay. then you see, uh, for just a moment, uh, what seems to be maybe a bandana uh, kind of move, um, and then move back. It seems to be moving from this area. Okay. okay. Um... um... How often can I do that? Let me check something. Woo! Put Malik taped. Once per short rest. No, Misty step. I'm gonna save it. Um, she's just gonna whisper over her shoulder. We've got company, and I'm gonna draw my crossbow. And I would like to. I know we're not really in rounds, but I'd like to hold an action to shoot next time I see movement ahead of us. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Um, roll a disadvantage perception into your castle. It's a hidden, a hidden roll. Oh, my castle. My what? Castle. Some would call it a rook if you were playing is that chess. The, is that the bottom right corner? It's yeah. It's just like a part of the image? Okay. It's not, though. It's a dice tower. Oh, okay. Disadvantage perception yep. into the... Into the castle. Thing. Oh, I see. It pops up. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Is this secret to me, even? Yep. Oh. Mm, sucks to be you. Sucks to be sucks. I don't like that. Like <laughs> uh, what's everyone else doing? You you guys all continue to hear just <laughs> echoing owl noises that seem to be in different directions. When I uh, when I hear hear say we have company, I'm going to try to hide, make myself small. Uh, and I would I would allow if everyone else wanted to try to attempt to hide at this point. <laughs> well, that's better than your natural one, so... That's right. Me I'm actually going to try to open the door Does Dim Light give us any kind of advantage? Um, you, well, you, you know what? You are in darkness right now, so roll it again. Uh, okay. Complete darkness. Darkness, everybody. I attack the darkness. Um... I'm going to be paying attention to uh, Ishnu, kind of having his back as he opens the door here. Yep. So Ishnu, you're um, you're uh, uh, opening the door. Attempting to open the door. Yes. Uh, it is unlocked. You may open the door. Like the door. I open the door with my mind <laughs> instead of pushing it. Nice. You can actually click on it. Click on the door. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, the door um, stops against this far wall. Uh, you see, um, with your dim uh, grayscale vision, there's steps that move down and then steps that move up after about 10 feet. Um, you see what looks to be a bed. Um, but other than that, it's it's very quiet. I see a bandit. Do you really? You're not supposed yep. to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know which one you see. Not that there's more than one. I saw bandit six. Okay. Uh, uh, my plan was oh, he's in the door. Damn it. It's fine. Everything's great. As soon as the door opened, um, my plan was to step in front of Ishnu. Uh, Sav is still just has his shield. His warhammer is still at his side. And he has a free hand. So yeah, he's just gonna step in front here and take a quick peek into the room. All right. Uh, as you look in, you you also see now more of that same bed. Uh, you see a opened um, door down here. Uh, what? Seems to be more storage, um, uh, barrels and whatnot, but they they all seem to be like ransacked. It's it's really just like disheveled um, and just like a bunch of college friends had a bender and didn't clean up after a weekend. <laughs> what about labs? Any light sources in here? Uh, yes. Um, come to think of it, that makes sense. So. There does seem to be uh, light in the room that you're looking into, so I guess it would not be grayscale. Okay. So it would be considered dim light, but you're in light, light. So you're good. Good question. Okay. Uh, uh, as, as the door opens, though, you do hear a. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. GD owls. Uh, um, and a who that echoes oh. back. Oh, I don't like that who. Another <laughs> <laughs> um, I said who. Are you going to bed? Good night. So, uh, you got a good night, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Savathras, I think, is going to um, <clears throat> get in here. Uh, gonna get it done. Yep. So my plan is to uh, come down the stairs and kind of... I'm assuming the stairs, he can like get a little bit of cover like right there, just in case, just in case there's somebody this way. Um, so the stairs, um, the... The door opens up, and there is a wall that comes halfway down the stairs, uh, and then it opens up about halfway. So you can get about halfway, and then you could see fully around. Perfect. Um, yeah, so he's going to go down the stairs, and then he's going to duck around that corner where I just had my arrow. So he'll, he'll like, come over here, and then basically he's going to do a quick maneuver to get over there behind the wall. Gotcha. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to get to about right... Here, pit, um, and things nope. are gonna happen. Oh no, that's not a pit. Oh no, <laughs> things, are, things are gonna happen. Um, I'm ready. All right, so from out of nowhere, a scimitar comes slashing oh. back. Uh, a scimitar, honestly, pack your past your back. <laughs> Did you say something to me? Is someone talking to me? <laughs> No, Abe. We've all been quiet. <laughs> Abe, that's a bookshelf. Books don't talk. Sometimes I talk to my bookshelf, guys. Shh. <laughs> Books don't talk, Abe. Huh. Uh, this is my wife. I have people that I live with. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. So, Andy, um, yeah, out of nowhere, a, a, a scimitar slashes at you. Were you doing mm -hmm. something in, in, or was that your just concentration? Uh, you can. I, I shouldn't have guidance on me anymore. It, it's keeping guidance on me for some reason. Same with Melandra. It's not going away. That son of a bitch. I, I have an effect for guidance, but I don't. I, there's no point in me dragging it on because it doesn't actually add anything. So I'm gonna okay. stop doing that. Um, I thought it would actually work and add add a D4 or anything, but. Mm. Oh, I'm really hurt, guys. It's probably gonna be fine. Um, um, oh. They were right there. I didn't even hear them. They were hooting and hollering. Oh, this. Oh, I can't see anything that you see. Yeah, it's probably fine. You guys got a potion, right? We don't. I can't see anything. Oh, okay. Oh no, he's unconscious. Uh oh. Yep. Um. So, uh, what the three of you would see at this point is, Savar, uh, Savarth, uh, it's... Good thing we have a heal. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Steps in front of Ishnu and. And, and makes a gesture as he uh, gallantly walks in, and then two banded swords just swing out of nowhere, and he's knocked to the ground. Yep. Uh, Everyone roll initiative. There we go. Uh, oh, wait, I have battle music. Oh, Rachel, did you have an uh, advantage on your initiative? Didn't. Uh... Andy, give you. I did. Oh shit! Oh shit! I did. Oh. Um, let me roll it again and see. I forgot about that. Thanks. I can't forget. Cool, cool. Thanks. Where's my battle music? I gotta play my battle music. Andy, I'm sorry I knocked out your character in a second. So I mean. Oh, I'm I'm need to switch mine sorry. back. I need you to switch mine back to 19. Okay, I want to roll my initiative too. Thanks. Um, oh, come on. What? What just happened? Did you see that? What? It went from a 2 to a 20. Yeah, just because they're right next to each other. Yeah, but it looks like it stopped. Oh, gotcha. I didn't see that. No. <laughs> Alright, so you said it, it became a 19? Or should have been a 19? Rachel? Yeah, it should have been, yeah, yeah, been, been a 19. Okay, uh, we're going to say that Andy took his turn to step in there. Which takes us to Rachel. Okay. Um, oh, and I'm sorry. As the two bandits slap down, you hear a hoo hoo hoo. 
Uh, Alright, you're good. Okay. Oh, um, Rhyme, you gotta turn it down, boy. Okay, mm. I, I'm assuming oh, I no. hear... Like, I, I, I can see Sabathurst. Okay, I'm going to... Yep, I'm just gonna charge him. Let's do this. I'm gonna go... 5, 10, 15... With 20 feet. See what I see. Okay. Why can't I see anything? Okay. Well, clearly, like, somebody hit him. So I'll move 10 feet from, like, on top of him. Uh, you see those two two bandits right there. Cool, cool. I am going to target bandit two, and I'm going to slash slash my scimitars. Yeah. I'm going to do this so I can see you guys better, and that's sure. all. Sure. Did I feel away from that safe? No, no, no. I, I made it that that was your first turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I would have rolled in that 20. You don't know. A slash. Yeah. And then bonus action, slash. Get him. Maybe six killed him. Oh, two hits. Ooh. Come on. Yeah. Nice. There slash. it is. <laughs> yeah, so she, like, like with her, she draws her two scimitars and, like, Naruto runs with them behind her back and then stands on top of Sabathurus and then like whirls and like spins and slash slashes with their swords flying and kills mm. the This is my turn. Good turn. You're up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ishnu. Alright. Ishnu shouts out Sabathurus! <laughs> <laughs> then he's gonna rush in. All right, so let's see. I can see Bandit 1. And I'm going to use Telekinetic Force. Let's see if I... Mm -hmm. Actions. Okay. Force him to make... Oh, it, oh I double-clicked it. Uh, so, I don't know. So, do you, do uh, you just, just click once? Yeah, roll it one more time. We'll see what happens. The real roll. Okay, so he succeeded. Success. Okay, so I don't think anything happens. A success. Yeah, nothing happens. So I reach out with my mind and try to uh, to smash him with telekinetic force, but he's able to resist. Uh, and I guess that's it. All right, Grin. You are currently feeling well hidden. Yeah, I am. Um, I'll run out of here. I, I will say that you would know if you run into light, you're no longer going to be hidden. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so I can see. But, um... Hmm. Oh, never mind. I was going to say there's... Um, Sabathurus is right beside that other guy, but um, he doesn't count. Right there. Alright. I'm going to say, you're going to pay for that, you bastards! And I'm going to shoot... Bandito... One with my bow. Get it. I thought you were gonna save my butt with my butt. Yeah. With my butt. butt. butt shot. Butt. <laughs> I'm gonna butt shot him. Oh, that dice was all over oh, the place. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bouncer. <laughs> all right, and then I'm gonna say, uh, I'll see ya. <laughs> I'm back up. There. <laughs> Okay. Alright. Um That's it for me. Let's see here. Bandit one. He's not in anyone's range. Okay, so he is going to seeing three people come down, uh you see him kind of put his, his hands up to his face and go ho -ho -ho -ho, uh and start to run off this way. Uh and then he's gonna shoot. Oh no. Melandra with his bow! No! And he's gonna miss! But that's as far as he makes it. That guy's dead. Uh, um. Well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> um. So you guys hear um, footsteps coming from behind Grin, and a. <laughs> uh -oh. 
and the same very similar trap door spring open and shut. Because <laughs> he's Sabs, yeah, right. Horribly. All right. Okay. They slip on the. Oh, my ball bearings aren't there anymore. God damn it. <laughs> should have picked them up. Should never picked them up. I should never have helped. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was going to actually let you roll it. It's all right. I take the auto roll. It wasn't a one. Okay. I meant to turn that off, though. Oh, uh, I, I like it to be in the player's hand when they kill themselves. <laughs> I thought I actually did turn that off. What if we lose our cleric during our first combat? Why is this our first combat? Andy yeah. has 13 characters just prepped already. It's true. Are they all clerics? All clerics. <laughs> None of them have these stats, guys. None of them. I will never roll these stats again. You know, there's one way to prevent me from dying. I'm just saying. I mean, at least stabilize them. I mean, Slap you guys. Him in the face. Grin, Slap him. Install all those potions. Okay. That's Andy's turn. Yep. All right. Um. No, you're right. Melandra is autumn right now. Which she, means when she put like, you the first. Well, I mean, if she were summer, she would just go murder everyone. <laughs> but in autumn, her flaw is that she gives to others to the point she leaves herself without necessary supplies. Wow. She's grateful, right? Maybe she's like thanking these bandits for killing her clan. Maybe. She is content, <laughs> grateful, and generous. Uh, also, she did not take a potion. She gave them all to me! <laughs> <laughs> Why did she not take a potion? Are you... She gave them all away. She's generous. She to to you. Uh, did she I think it took them. Nobody wanted potions. Oh, you don't even have medicine. I was going to be like, well, if you're proficient in medicine. Well... Did wait? Did Sav take? Sav, any Sav, Sav didn't take any. I, I didn't intend to take any because I don't have any in my inventory. Um, so basically, what he told you guys was that I have, I, I can, I can keep you from dying, but you cannot keep me from dying without potions. <laughs> so okay. he did. That's so why he didn't take any. Grant has all of the potions. <laughs> I have, I have three potions. I have this has potions. one too. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um. <laughs> He literally said, if I go down, you're going to need potions. <laughs> yeah, and Melandra gave her potion away. Well, that's cool. Um, okay. That's cool. very generous of you. Uh, Did you know we'll say to Melandra, I can revive Savathras. And then she... Yeah, I got that. I got the too. Yep, she's gonna... <laughs> charge the Just next keep them off of them. Cat, you are not helpful. Don't be a hero. We need a hero! And then I'm going to target I can't see with your cat butt in my face. That's not his name. Yo, cat butt on my face. Why don't you roll play this butt? That's my movement. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my bonus. Yeah. Yeah. You're awesome. God damn it, cat. Okay. Oh, Wounded. Um. You didn't roll damage on the first one. You did not. Oh, shit. No. You hit on both, though. I must not have double clicked it. There it is. Yeah, oh. like. Alright, what's it look like? Me and Landry. Uh, so she turns to look at Sabathras and, like, really wants to give him a potion, but she doesn't have one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So then she says, I am so grateful for the friendship you have given me, and I hope that it is not ended. <laughs> and then she runs, and she like slides across the floor and goes, woo, 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 and swings her swords like over her head and slice, slices the bandit twice <clears throat> in the gut. Badass. Uh, and then, yeah, I, that was 30 feet, and that was my action, so that's all I got. I'm going to say to Ishnu before you take a turn. I'm going to say, go get him, Ish. I'll take care of Savvy. Are you sure? Hey, you're bigger than me. He waits <laughs> at you. <laughs> Very well. Uh, can a Am I supposed to be able to see Bandit Leader? Um, if you can see him in the thing, you can. I can see him. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you see someone, um, uh, not cowering, just simply trying to hide, and every now and again his head kind of pokes out to look. It's like he's waiting for you to get closer. Alright. 
I'm gonna move up to. So he, he probably has a little bit of cover from us. A little bit. Oh, I printed those all like, Put plus two AC, something like that. I think that's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna move up next to Melandra. Oh, I, I accept 30. this. Give me 30 feet. Oh, the range is 60 feet. Oh, never mind. Actually, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Or, no. <laughs> Fuck I'll that. Move up. I'll be back here. Yeah, I thought it was a 30-foot <laughs> range. 60-feet range. Okay, so from here, I'm going to target the bandit leader. Reach out to him again with my mind. <coughs> Strength save. Where's Paul? Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm. So he's going to take... Uh, Nine points. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. Nice. And also, uh, he is going to be knocked prone. <gasps> oh, I'll take I care of that. Yeah. As opposed to moving him, knock him prone. Prone. Prone, uh, son. You must be punished for your crimes. You know what's funny? During dinner, Rachel and I were discussing like the many things I could do with my one spell slot during the boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how long that conversation lasted. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna um, I'll move over here. I'm gonna kneel over uh, Savvy. And um, I'm gonna grab his face, or I, I slap the side of his face and I say, bottoms up, Savvy. And I grab his cheek and go like this. And I pour the potion down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. All the way down. Swallow. Swallow. <laughs> I'll rub his throat a little bit. <laughs> uh, what, are the, what are the healing potions? Uh, again? 2d4 plus 2, right? 2d4 plus 2, yep. Yeah. For a small. This is a no superior healing potion. Hell no. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. there you go, fella. That's, that's pretty good. And does my failed death save go away? Uh, yes. I, I like to just reset them. It just resets when you get back up. Yeah, when you come back up. Are you doing anything like you get a level of exhaustion whenever you go down? No, that sounds horrible. Sounds terrible. I mean, you I can't do like that. It. I mean, you can have one, but I'm not going to do that to no one else. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something. Um, but I will, I will take away your unconscious. Oh, uh, five. Don't and worry, I'm going to go. Care of that. I'm going to hop over and, and just kind of duck behind that stairwell. Oh, nice. There you go. All right. Um, are you, you're probably level one, so you can't, but can you hide for, for a bonus action? Mm, yeah. I don't think I have an ability one. to let me do that. Okay. Nope. You must be oh, so much more cunning. Cunning action, that's right. That's right! Alright, that guy's in a pit. Let's see if level he can... Level two is so good for rogues. Yeah. Let's see if he can make it out. Nope. Okay. In a He's pit. in a pit. Fell into it. This guy's gonna survive. Bandit Four is gonna survive. We're gonna open up the pit. That guy. And Savathras is gonna change his life. <laughs> Not before I kill him. That would also change his life. Uh, the door opens at the uh, the other staircase, and Ishnu, a, a bolt comes flying at your side. Uh. Hits you right in the rib. You take five oh. points of damage. Oh. Um, you know what? He's gonna come around. And I'm gonna make him make one of these. Okay, yeah. Um, this guy comes around the corner and kind of looks around. Looks a little, little confused. Um, but Grin sees you standing. Kind of cowering in the corner. <laughs> uh, <It's> like, hey, <laughs> what? What? And you got a problem. Oh shit! 
Miles. This grin is probably fine. Oh, 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 professional oh, damage. I just go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he replies, uh, woohoo. Um, this bandit leader's gonna be pissed. He's, he's uh, hurt. He's prone. Um, so he's gonna step out and, um, he starts to kind of look around. This one. Okay, no, we're you know he, they're, they're doing okay. Um, he's still at least nope. Don't shoot your own people. Come on. Uh, no, he's gonna he's gonna bully in. He's gonna run right up to you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, run in our sword blender. We don't care. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you're rolling double. Oh, because he's freaking disadvantaged. He the prone effect. Yeah. Hold on, let he me drop that. that. He still would have missed that. Oh yeah, I can't touch this shit. Um, get rid of prone. Okay. Uh, and this guy is is a lot bulkier than the others. I mean, he's he's very muscular. Um, and um, as he kind of attacks you, he's like, who, 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 motherfucker? Oh, no. <laughs> who? Um, I have a picture of this guy, and I don't know where he went. Who fucking who? I said, who? Who's in my mind? Um, oh, here he is. Bandit Captain, look at this guy. Um, oh, yeah. Hey. So, Bathurst, we're, uh, we're back up to you. Uh, I'm gonna spend half my movement to get up, so he just, he, he tenses his, his well, well-muscled torso and does the full kip up onto his his feet for half of his movement. As a bonus action, he clutches at his his um, at his chest and, and says, the light is not done with you, little one. And I will use healing word as my last spell slot. Nice. Oh, you're going to be healing word. <laughs> so you get a 1d4 plus something. One second. For healing on Grin, Shazam. Maximum Ooh. healing. Mm. Um, the other half of my move, I would like to run up here, and as I'm doing so, pull out my Warhammer. Warhammer! Is Bandit 5 within my reach? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Crack. I said crack. Or try to crack. Oh, that was damage. Delete that! Delete that! Well, let me roll my, <laughs> let me roll my hit first. Look, I haven't played a, a player very much. I okay, you hit. You hit. So that damage is good, though? Yeah, five damage. So he runs up, brings out his Warhammer, and just like a quick, as he's pulling it up from his belt, just cracks the guy. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of spells. All right. Right. Lander, that takes us to you. Yeah. I'm a slash of this bandit leader. Scimitar. Oh, oh no. 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 Now's not time. Now's not time. Now is not the time to start sucking. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am grateful for this because it has taught me a lesson. <laughs> and I swing with my other one. Oh. Okay. Our mistakes make a us stronger. Your <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we got this. Uh, you had a good run. You <laughs> <laughs> slayed a lot of people. We're I not going to get to see the other seasons, are we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm out of spells. Not get, yep, I just... Shit. Um, yeah, I took up my sleep. I don't have to spare the dying anymore. Just say no. You what? I don't have spare the dying anymore. Is this a cantrip? Why don't you spare the dying? Because I only get three. Oh, you didn't take it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to use my. No, I can't. I did my bonus action. Nope, I'm done. That's it. Oh, all right, all right, all right. It, hey, it, hey, can you share the map again? I accidentally closed oh it. Oh my god! Make a constitution saving throw. I was trying to get rid of this. Uh... Sure. Okay. Um, all right. Very excited about my setup. 
sure if Andy is to... Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. Yeah, I want to get something and not hit Q with it, but... I can take it. I bet you could. Look, are you trying to hit both of them? Because you totally could. Yeah, I'm trying to hit the bandit six and five. But it's originating... Well, it, it's originating from me. This A 15-foot cube originates from me. So I'm to figure it out. Maybe this you spot. stand right next to me? Damn. Yeah, I guess if I stand, yeah, like next to you and then cast it like that. Yeah, I'll allow that. All right, so I'm going to use a side point to cast Thunder Wave. Mm. Try to hit those two. You're uncomfortably close. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to cover your ears. What? And then, <laughs> and then uh, they need to make a constitution saving throw. Constitution. Bandit 6. Uh, DC, 20. I think it's 14. Bandit 5. 7. Alright, so... He, he failed. Bandit 5 is going to take the full 2d8. Alright, so Bandit 5 2D8. takes 7. Oh, did, did it roll 2? Oh, I don't know what that 7... Oh. Oh, I don't... Yeah, okay. <laughs> So five, five, five points. Of damage? I guess, yeah. Uh, all right. Five five points points takes. Uh, Bandit five already hurt. No. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. yeah I cracked you it. Hit him, um, so, uh, so Chris, what's it look like? Because you, you destroyed Ooh. this poor guy. All right. So I uh, walk up and reach out with my mind, and this thunderous boom echoes out from uh, Ishnu and Bandit five. His bones audi audibly. Uh, crack and crunch, and he just kind of collapses in a heap. And actually, no, he gets thrown ten feet back and <laughs> just kind of smashes against whatever the closest wall is. Nice. With the audible crunch to his bones. Uh, you then, see him fly into what looks to be a training <laughs> dummy and just, like, crumble to the ground. Abe, where exactly, Abe, where exactly does he end up? This is important. This is important. His body end up? Yep. Yep. Oh, Don't kill yourself. Okay. Um, he's he's in this this room down here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But is he within thirty feet of? Band oh, six of well, he, let me let me look because he he would move ten feet 10 back. Feet, yep. So from you, Rachel, he is. Well, I can't, well, I can't 30 see him anymore. I don't, I don't think it actually matters because I can't. Oh, see okay. Oh. Um. Bummer. Yeah, I can't. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, does Thunder uh, Wave hurt people that make it? It's what uh, yeah, damage. Bandit 6 will take half damage. So he's going to take two points of damage, but he is not pushed back. He is not pushed. All right, all right. Still a good turn. Uh, that's it for me. All right, Grin. You're proud. All right. <laughs> this is uh, totally something that Grin would do, whether it's going to go well. That's the question. All right, I'm going to get up. I pull a small green rock out of my pocket, and Grin yells, Hey, Ishnu, heads up! And I'm going to uh, make a ranged attack at Ishnu. Uh, well, if he's a willing creature, it auto-hits. Oh, nice. Yep. So he he uh, throws it up in his hand a couple times and just goes, Yeah! <laughs> and it zips through the and hits you in the head. Now, uh, technically, this could put him down, right? I imagine it happens at the same time. I, I did actually make you, like, if you open up your items, nice. you have the damage roll and the heal. You can drag both onto them. Uh, where I'm sorry, it? go to your actions. Your actions. And then there's a healing, a oh, rock of healing. So you can drag the damage and the drag the, the healing. <laughs> I would say the, the only damage. way it would... It would um, the I'm not adding my dexterity to it, right? No, because it'll just be okay. a plain attack. I mean, a plain oh. uh, heal and, and whatever. Um, do I have to target him first? Uh, you can just drag it right onto him or target oh. him. No, I don't want to target anybody. How do I untarget stuff? I'll move out of the way so so you can see oh him better. Oh, God. I'm targeting so many people. Uh, okay, I, there. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll help you. I'll help you. How do I clear oh, stuff? I don't know. You've you've okay. There you go. There you go. Targeting oh, everybody. Go. All that four. I'm targeting myself. All right. Target anyone. Go. Power cycle. Power cycle. <laughs> Whack. 
Okay, and then roll your healing. <laughs> Whack! Damn it. Oh, oh god. <laughs> so, this small yeah. stone gets You're down one. hurled at your head. <laughs> and it stings, and then there's a moment where, like, there's a warm healing feeling, but that stinging didn't go away, and you take one point of damage. I see that his forehead is slightly bleeding. <laughs> Uh, what the hell? Right. Grin, we're allies. Why would you do this? <laughs> Listen, Calliope said that it would... It, never mind. <laughs> it was another guy. That's, good. That's, a, that's the end of my turn. It's a good, this is a good turn. Um, oh, so I don't think I said this this campaign, but I, I count um, potions of healing um, as a bonus if you're drinking them yourself. And an okay. action if you're giving them to someone. So, just throwing that out there in case it comes up. Uh, Bandit 1, dead. Bandit 2, dead. Bandit 4, come on, can you make it out of a pit? Let's find out. Suck it, Bandit 4. Suck it hard. It's fine, everything's great. Bandit 5, he did. Bandit 6. I am ready for you, ruffian. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, you need to exercise. What? Okay. Um, and he's going to swing his scimitar. Why is he swinging twice? Automatic miss. I rolled. But the first one was really a hit. That first one was a hit. Why am I? Okay, I'm just going to I'm going to attack once. One more time. Oh, yeah. It was because you were targeting two of us, did. You were targeting both of us. I'm gonna attack everyone. Oh so, yeah. You hit me for sure. Whew. That's weird. Okay. We were all some hard and grin. Whew. Okay. Take four points of damage as the scimitar comes <sighs> slashing past your shield. Uh, Work out well. Bandit leader's gonna look at you and, and, and say I don't understand why you're thankful and he's gonna swing down his scimitar. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, and that, that's his turn. <laughs> uh, Sabathris is going to. What are my. He, he glances back, uh, seeing Melandra against the thing, but against his instincts to drop what he's doing and help some help one of his friends in combat he is going to trust that she has this under control and will instead just she's, Jenny. i'm sure she's super grateful for that <laughs> um he will this requires a somatic component so i'm going to drop my warhammer to the ground whoa clank, 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 uh, clank, make hand signals yep he's going to drop the warhammer to the ground and he will um, yeah. Making a quick in incantation with his fingers. Um, a loud, dolorous, um, bell, like a church bell rings. That will toll the dead on this guy. He is wounded. Poifet. Oh, he is, he is done, though. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's He's done. So, what's it? What's it looked at like with your giant? Um, so, uh, wisps of uh, shadowy dark energy swirl around this guy, enter into his ears, nostrils, eye sockets, and they all just start bleeding, and he falls to the ground <laughs> as his mind is invaded by the necrotic images of bad dreams. Aww. What a way to go! <laughs> Sees his worst nightmares. It's dark. All right, you staying put or you moving? Uh, no, great question. Uh, I will actually... Um, I don't know what's down this hallway, so I would like to intervene in this doorway in case there are more people there. I don't want them coming up and taking a pot shot at my friend Grin. Um, yeah, you, you look down the hallway, and you see an empty storage room with... Um, Fuck! Uh, what looks to be some, some trampled um, items... Um, it doesn't seem to be that it's been used in quite some time. I mean, that's awesome. 
But if I would have known this whole map, <laughs> unconsciously, I probably would have metagamed this chain. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, that's great. But at the same time, I'm like, oh shit, that's exactly what Sav would have done, but I regret doing that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. <laughs> Landra, what are you doing? I'm gonna finish off this. Yeah, he looks he looks pretty hurt. This. Get him. Nice. <clears throat> What's it look like? What's it look like? She she looks around. He looks around says, and says, I am so thankful that none of my friends died today. I am so thankful today. that none of my she, friends died today. Her and then she right her puts her scimitar right. Mm. Um, as the bandit leader starts to... And you, like, kindly push him off your sword. Uh, he slides to the ground, and you hear a small... Uh, and from out of uh, seemingly nowhere, uh, there is a small loaf size like loaf of bread sized piglet that just starts to like squeal uncontrollably loud um, and as he's doing so he is vomiting up small amounts of coins wait who's, wait. who's <laughs> what the pig is vomiting coins Bands is vomiting coins it seems to be <laughs> like Completely, completely distraught. Um, it seems to be oinking at the pig. Um, yeah, the pig. It seems to be oinking at. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna put it like here. It seems to be oinking at is, is what the seems to be the bandit guy. So the bandit's corpse. So the bandit's is corpse there. is still there. Oh yeah. Yeah. But now there's but now a small there's pig, pig yep. vomiting coins. Yeah, and it's. <laughs> It's a pretty big pile at this point. Uh, I, I, is everyone okay? Uh, you, you guys hear a... <laughs> I, just, I just want to take a second to revel in this victory and uh, sing our alma mater. Radiant Academy, we're all so fucking cool. Look at all you schmucks. You're all a bunch of tools. <laughs> I noticed that nobody else sang. Oh, oh well. I've never heard of this song before. Oh, really? She didn't teach you guys that one? Oh. That was a classic. She's got a way I... with lyrics. <laughs> How do the lyrics go again? <laughs> We're the Radiant Academy. We're all so fucking cool. Look at all you schmucks. You're just a bunch of tools. That does sound like something she would sing. There was more embellishments. She does it better, you know. Um, <laughs> Sabathris was walking towards the hooting while that was happening. Um, oh, no. And while he does, he he kneels down next to the uh, trap door, and and he says, uh, "All of your comrades are dead. Put down your weapon before I open this store, or you will join them." As I walk up behind him, I pull an arrow out of my quiver and notch it in my bow and say, All right, let's do this. I'm going <laughs> to pull it back, <laughs> aiming it down toward the pit. Oh, even after what Sabathwish just said? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you hear a clang, 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 clang. And uh... Sabathwish just gives, gives Grin a sharp look. Grin has like one eye closed and he's aiming down at the pit. <laughs> Enough to pull the chain. I can't, I can't get out of here. For Payless sake. This guy's pathetic. Come on. Open the thing so I can put it put him out of his misery. I can't I can't pull the chain. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, need, I need help. Can you just step on it? Uh Rachel, meanwhile, this pig is still going just ape shit. Uh but there's a there's now a pretty big sizable pile of coin just spilling out on the ground. I'm gonna kneel down. I'm gonna and kneel to, like, down and try to like comfort the pig. Um, are you, 
Are you all right? right? Yeah, I'm making I'm animal ammo. Belly scratches. Where did it come from? What? What? It's a uh, pocket dimension, apparently. <laughs> Pop out of nowhere. Um, yeah, you you get down and you you scratch it. It. Um, you know what that? Uh, make a perception check with advantage. I said, who? Um, <laughs> Damn. I mean, it's weird. He looks odd. You're not entirely sure why, but I mean, for a pig that's the size of like a loaf of bread, there is no comforting this pig. Um, he kind of looks like that. Okay. Um, uh, but he is just going ape shit. Or is he still shit. puking Good. coins? Oh yeah, he's like between like. <laughs> It's just, it's just like coin after coin. There's like some copper pieces. You see a couple gold spit through. You're pretty confident you saw a platinum, but it's just like. Is it all covered in like bile and nope. stomach juice? Okay, it's clean. Um, Chris, what are you? Uh, what are you doing other than uh, a crazy ass pig? I guess it's a uh, savage. Grin went over to the bandit. I'll come over and try to investigate this pig. See if I can try to figure out what's going on. Uh, let's see. Can I roll an arcana check, maybe? Yeah, go ahead. You can roll anything you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Um, you also see the pig. Bloop. Um, and you have heard stories about pocket dimensions you you've read about them uh you've um you know you heard a merchant talk about a, a space they used to store all their coin in so of course you had to research it um you know for your notes um but you're you're not sure exactly how this individual comes to play but it definitely seemed to have appeared from a pocket dimension uh and it definitely seems magical in nature can we get a pig of holding <laughs> uh, meanwhile, guys, I mean, it just, I can't get out of here. I didn't want to try um, this anyways. I was just fishing, and I didn't have any parents. I didn't know what to do. Savathras has just has just been sort of like, kind of like flat, flat affect, just watching Grin. He hasn't opened the door yet. Grin, Grin stares at the uh, at the pit, and then just kind of looks over. So, uh, you gonna open it, or you want me to do it? I already said I couldn't do it. I'm not comfortable with being a part of murdering someone. Oh, no. What do you mean? Oh, no, nah, this, this isn't murdering. This is doing the world service. He puts down his arrow. Listen, listen to me, Savvy. These guys care if we live or die, huh? You think they care if anybody lives or dies? Huh? I care. They just go around murdering people. You can see that his eyes are starting to well up just a little bit. Um, he he shrugs. <laughs> I, I, no, he, sorry, he wouldn't shrug. Sorry, go on. And he says... No, no, not a single one of these guys deserves to live. Including this weak ass. What's your name? Greg. Greg. Did you say something? Bobison. <laughs> Greg. Greg Bobison. Big, bo Big Bobison Greg. Did you hear that? I'd be doing this guy a service. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he would think that? I don't think that at all, sir. Listen, listen, Savvy, you just... You just don't. You don't get it. You know, whatever. Do do whatever you want. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna put I'm my, gonna try my uh, arrow back. <laughs> and I'm gonna <laughs> sling my thing over, and I'm gonna oh head back God. in with the. Uh... Yeah, I I would like to note for Grin that Sabathros yeah. would never like impeding impeding Grin's own like progress in opening the door. So right. I, I I don't I don't want Grin to think like he was ever no. like. So he doesn't. You something. notice that you notice that he doesn't. Um, sure. After you, after you chided him, he just kind of he gets frustrated and walks away. <laughs> uh, yeah, Savathur's so just kind of like sadly looks after him for a moment, notes that, and and as he I, he probably only as he's like five or ten feet away, he says, "I do not know what the right thing is here, Grin. I do not know." Wow, well, figure it out. Good, you're a goody two shoes. <laughs> he walks away. I mean, you could let me out. That seems nice. 
I already trapped my weapons. He he just sort of he sort of mutters mutters as probably inaudible to grin at this point, yeah. but he, he just says, I do know that killing is something that cannot be undone. Uh, and he will he will put his hand down on the trapdoor and kind of trigger it to push it down. Uh yeah, you um <laughs> though the bandit was in pitch black. Uh, which is why you couldn't make it out of the freaking pit. Um, I can't, I can't you see pull this, the game, this young teenager, you know, he, he's got like some spiked hair. He probably thought he was pretty cool, but he is just tears. The the weapons have been discarded. The, the crossbow was just dropped fully loaded. So it's just like you see the arrow sticking against the side where it disengaged. <laughs> Thanks. I really, I really appreciate it. I'm assuming you're in pitch, pitch blackness right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure who you are, but really appreciate it. I'm, I'm gonna put my he hands up a, now. He hears a voice above him saying, uh, "Athras, guide me in what I am about to do." Oh uh, my I, god! Oh my god! I knew I was gonna <laughs> die in a hole. I just knew it. My mom uh, said you're gonna <laughs> die in a hole. And I will say, you have made many poor choices leading to this moment. Yeah, that's right. You have many choices left to come. Do I? Do your luck and circumstances have brought you here. Nothing else. Your choices have not brought you to your life being spared. Luck and circumstances have brought you here. You have choices beyond this moment. Do I? Are you, are you letting me go? You have choices because of luck and circumstances. I'm so confused. Are you going to get me out of here or not? You keep saying circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? This is much clearer in my own language. <laughs> I mean, if you got some growth, I don't, I don't even know where you are. Or just, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I can... I can Listen keep it. to my voice. I'm in there the is no gun. such thing as fate. There is only choice. You have choices. Good choices may spare your life. Poor choices will lead you down a path. Maybe back to another pit like this. Maybe to a group that will not spare you. Maybe to someone who is not as kind as me and my friends. Uh, roll your persuasion at disadvantage. Guidance! He is freaking the hell out. And you, sure. you this whole time you're hearing the chain just rattling. He's been trying to like engage the release to stay open. I'll take inv I'll take inv uh, intimidation if that would work. Oh yeah, that would probably work. With disadvantage still? Nope, that'd be with uh, full blown. Regular? You know, no, go ahead and give it advantage. Hell yeah! Yeah, I, I mean, he's giving him a hard talk. I'm fine with that. And this is with a plus. Nope, nope, not that one. Damn it! Clear that. Uh, intimidation. Guidance. Um, Disadvantage. 19. Oh, yeah, there's no way he's going to pass this. Yeah. Yep, you know what? You're right. I just, uh, gonna. Maybe you could let me out. I could probably ch change my ways. Um, I, I pat the top of his head with my arm. Holy God, what's that? <laughs> that is my hand. <laughs> That's a giant hand, sir. Just... Thank you. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna maybe put my hand no up now. Over that. <laughs> I'm gonna maybe you could lift me out. I'll just I'll go away. I basically patted his head so he knew where to grab. Okay, and he's gonna reach up and grab you with both hands. It's like a death grip, but you, you barely sure. notice. Sure, I'll lift him out. Uh, yeah, you see, uh, uh, you see a, a pretty scared teenage boy, uh, like. Breathing heavily. Um, let's close that pit so people don't fall in it again. Um, and uh, I, I don't know who you are, but Greg Bobbleton, which I think is what I called him, is really grateful for you and your friends for letting me go. Baby Academy. Uh -huh. how, like, how old are most of the kids there? Uh, you, you've seen ages from, like, you know, uh, real young, like, 
te- uh, uh, preteen, like urchin, growing up, no food on the streets, to like, you know, blue from old school, who just needs needs a family. Um, that was his name, by the way. <laughs> it's Bill Billy Bug Greg. Greg. <laughs> Billy Bug Greg. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm just going to walk over to him and put her hand on his shoulder and say, no, she's going to put her hand on his chest, like on his heart and say, that gratitude will serve you well. We are grateful as well that we had the opportunity to meet you today. You should go to the Radiant Academy and speak to Calliope. (laughs) She will help you find a new path. And then someday... You can repay her in the same way that we have today. Oh. Douche lore, help me. For the record, I <laughs> wanted to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean... <sighs> and he just, like, full sprints down the hallway and out. Make good choices! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with this pig. Oh, by this point, it's it stopped blinking. Um, you would have noticed as as um, before you walked away, um, you noticed that the, the the pig itself stopped oinking and squealing, uh, and um, oh shit, I moved my notes. Um, kind of like did like a uh, almost like a dance on top of the coins itself, and then lulled to its side and became. Uh, an inanimate object. Oh, okay. But he's sitting on top of a pile of coins. Yeah. Does he have a hole on his back? I totally or in does. His mouth? Yeah, I start putting the coins in him. Are you sure that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, we just have to retrieve the okay now. Um, I gotta, I gotta look at something here real quick. No reason. Um, so you, you do start to put a couple of coins in it, uh, and the, the pig kind of shakes for a moment, um, and then starts to, like, trot in front of you, and then you see him just start to, like, eat some of the coins as you're, like, shoving them in his back. Oh. Okay. Um, but he, he seems to, like, he'll eat, like, a coin, and then, like, <laughs> and he's, like, you know... Babe from pig, pig from babe, shit, pig from babe. Uh, ruined it. Sorry. <laughs> like looks up at you and uh, and like smiles, uh, and then like eats a couple more coins and ruts around. That is the weirdest shit I have ever seen, and I've seen some pretty weird shit. It is some type of magic, but I cannot fully understand it. So is it is it a pig, or is it a magic doohickey? I suspect it is a magical device that is using uh, some alternate dimension to store this inordinate amount of coins. Huh. Well, uh, we gonna take we gonna take it. <laughs> well, yes, this is the best way. This is the easiest, easiest way, way to transport the coins back, back to the farm to disperse among the people who've been around. And a pig. <laughs> okay, you know, whatever. <laughs> Can we go already? <laughs> we should see what other items of bandits have stolen and to return them to their rightful owners. Loot the bodies. <laughs> Search this facility. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. You guys notice that that um, um, Grin is just slightly annoyed. He looks like he's just irritated. <laughs> but he starts he starts rummaging around, seeing if there's anything in this room. Um, yeah, those of you that are looting, uh, make an investigation check. Oh, yeah. Well, my investigation's not too good. Can I use perception? Um, I'll allow it. To just kind of look for anything that might be... If you want a pity roll. I would really like that pity roll, please. (laughs) (laughs) I get to add Um, a d4 also. Nice. Okay. 
yeah, I mean, all in all, those are uh, better than average. So um, you guys uh, take some time. Um, Grin, you're able to pick up um, the remainder of your ball bearings that you hadn't found before. Um, uh-huh. So let me just go ahead and there we go. Uh, yeah, so you uh, pick up the rest of your ball bearings. Um, you find in the pile where the pig was, uh, and this will be in the party sheet, so just don't worry about writing it down. Uh, 380 gold pieces, uh, 182 silver pieces, and 18 copper pieces, um, kind of amongst the pile. Um, let's see. There, there's still three potions in the uh, party sheet, by the way. Yeah, I think those are, are there? Yeah, those are those are grins. Grins, grins oh. is yours. Sorry. I, I had three potions in my inventory, so... I'll get rid of them. Oh, you know what it was? You you put those in there, you just called them potion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I left those ones, yeah. but I took, I took the healing potions. Um, <laughs> so you, you guys find uh, the money. Um, you know what, what the hell? Why, 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 boom. There we go. Um, so, Vanthrys, you find uh, amongst the dead and discarded you find six light crossbows uh six regular scimitars um ishnu you find um a couple of small gems um and yeah uh and between between you and grin uh you're able to find three gems altogether. i would also like to pick up my rock oh you do so Huh. I look at it, I said, didn't work the way I thought it would. How's your head, Ish? <laughs> it's still a little sore. No. You sure that's the right thing? Yeah. I don't think I carry normal rocks in my pocket, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to try it again? No, no, no. That's quite all right. <laughs> Why can I not drop you in the party sheet? Oh, there it is. That's butter. Um, but you guys also well, let me check my notes. Uh, you you do find um, Melander. This is you that finds it. Uh, oh, looking looking around. Um, you know, looking for items that they. Took what is from, it? Uh, what what's happening? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Are you biting that? Oh my god! Don't bite it! Don't oh my don't god. do that! That's... No wonder she doesn't turn Missed her it. camera on. Wow. Missed it. You guys are just perfect for each other. You guys just are biting good. string cheese, putting it in the microwave like crazy people. Ugh. Jesus. Wow. This is awful. Wow. Is you know, awful. don't choke really on that. Microwave it for Danica. Oh, sure. Uh huh. Where did where did she learn that from? Yeah. Andy. See that? See that shit? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Makes my skin crawl. Um. <laughs> They call us millennials entitled. Next generation's gonna want all their cheeses, all their cheeses microwaved before they eat it. <laughs> Thanks to you enablers. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> well, Andrew, Mamsi, Daddy, will you microwave my cheese? Microwave my cheese, please. <laughs> um, you you find the discarded scraps of food, some bones of animals. Uh, you see uh, a sheep skin that's just been crudely cut off. Uh, just tons of broken chest barrels, smashed jewelry chests. Uh, but other than what you guys found, there's nothing worth keeping. Boy, these guys are slabs. In all this place? Yep. I mean, he did say it was abandoned beforehand. Should we return these sheepskins? I just want to see your. I just want to see your map. You just want to look around, do a little look see. Look at that. It's a big what's map. This, what's this thing? Whew. That was a door, is what it was. That big, that big thing on the floor. Oh no, that was a fighting arena, which is where the. Looks like was Until you guys like, you know, were really I loud. Noise. And then you caused everyone to take their sweet time and move around. You should, you should just you should just show us the whole map, babe. Yeah. So you don't have to keep moving us. No. So, 
So here's the here's the cool part. Um, wait, hold on. There's yes, more to this map that I didn't actually want you guys to be able to get to. So that's the cave-in, and I had a back entry plan, and then I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. So. Cool. Cool. But then it lets me do what I want. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Uh, but yeah, they were they were all in these these two rooms, and then you guys, you know, did stuff that wasn't quiet. Grin, how much how much would your comrades know about God. your parents and background? You don't, yeah, he wouldn't have shared any of that. Okay, just I wanted to, I want to point a reference. Sure. Yep. I want to know what love is. Oh, Rachel. just just so you know, Andy, I'm not annoyed with you. <laughs> I felt Grant's annoyed with Smathris. And it hurt. God. <laughs> uh, Rachel. I don't even think he's that annoyed with Smathris, honestly. Yeah. No, he's not. He's just that. <laughs> this one has to go to you. He's annoyed that he got soft. Smathris isn't, isn't. Excuse me. Has heard about it? Smathris is sympathetic. Uh, <coughs> how do I. I forget. Fresh? Fresh. <laughs> Fresh. Fresh. Backpack. Oh, well, I just distributed the money. Um, That's cool. Rachel, you now have um, the pig figurine. Uh, oh, you touched it water. first. It's yours. <coughs> what is happening? Sorry, I went down the wrong pipe. Oh, I'm crying. Um, of the choking, not because of I can it. I can probably carry the crossbows and scimitars. Oh, but that's also just a lot. That's a lot. That is yeah. a lot. I mean, it's uh, not that heavy. The weight's not a problem. It's the volume. Right. Uh, on well, who was it? Uh, Grin, with your roll, you there's nothing about these weapons <laughs> that are um like nothing stands out. They just seem to be like crude weapons that were entered. Yeah, no. it, it, some of them have like chunks out of them. They're not, right. they're not the best condition you've ever seen. How about the gems, though? Hmm? Uh, the the gems, gems, gems are nice. Um, the two that stick out, uh, stick out at you, uh, is the alexandrite and the garnet. But the alexandrite is the one that uh, really, it's really shiny. Holy Ooh. shit! Five hundred gold. Yep. I'm gonna try swiping that. Swipe. Yeah, anybody seeing it? They're probably gonna see that, but <laughs> I've noticed that all of my like rogue-based rolls so far have been absolutely <laughs> terrible. Less than ten. Less than ten. Board. Yep. Um, depending on where you did it at, <sighs> I, w I would say Savathras would see it. Whether he'd say anything is truly up yeah. to him. Yeah. I just kind of grab it and put it in my pocket with the tinder with the uh, tackle box. Do a nice little. Stole. Whistling. Oh, you still like kids tackle box? Um, I did. It's hard. I think we have done what we needed to do. I agree. Let's get back to uh. Sets the pig down on the ground and says, "Go to market, little piggy." Uh, you see it do a little dance and then disappears. What the hell? Uh, Abe, I want to grab the uh, the poorly shaved sheepskin. Yeah. Did you just say go to market, little piggy? <laughs> uh, Her name is Persephone. Oh, you named it. That's how lovely. I am so thankful that I have found yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I am also so thankful that uh, we survived that battle. Uh, yes. Survived. <laughs> That's a good word for it. <laughs> How's everybody doing, by the way? I'm fine. Yeah, well, you, you, you look still a little bit rough, and Spathers, you, you've seen better days, huh? I have. Thanks for those heels, by the way. I Thank feel you. like a million bucks. <laughs> oh, anyways, I'm going to hold out the two uh, remaining <laughs> health potions. Does anybody want these? <laughs> I realize it was a little bit selfish to take them all. I do not. I have one already, and pull out the potion. 
Ellie, sure you don't want it back? I... I, I would sure. be very grateful if you took one of these. <laughs> oh, all right. It, it would have, I... As I, would I. I do feel very... I feel like I let you down, No, 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 no. Not, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I'm grateful that I had the chance to see that you needed one of these, and I'm grateful that I can give one to you. And I'm, I, I know you're grateful for also seeing... I, I don't know. Just take a damn poke. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for this, Grin. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. I feel like we're at Fraggle Rock where they're just handing the stone back and forth. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do I get into my inventory? Oh, I will move one over. Uh, oh, okay. Put it in your inventory. Oh, next. Oh, a healing potion. Oh, my bad. No, I have to take, yeah. I got, I'll move one over to the party sheet. Okay. I got, it, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, As we're kind of walking out, uh, Savathris will just kind of say down towards Grin telepathically, thank you for sur- reviving me. Yeah. Forget about it. Forget about it. I will not. Listen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it's just an, you know, I'm tired of explaining these things to you. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> but uh, listen, maybe hold that shield up next time. <laughs> No, I know you really you were holding it up. It was just a, never mind. No, just joking. No, with you. You're right. <laughs> uh, my my defense was poor. You are correct. Uh, well, should we go back to Farmer? Uh, what's his face? Chase Goodwin. <laughs> I knew you took a note. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go see old Farmer Goodwin. Give him back his. Uh... What are we giving him back? By the way. Uh, I have his sheepskin. Oh, speaking Can I of which, see that? it's like <laughs> 25 pounds of just matted, somewhat rotten sheepskin. Um, I'm no. still bringing it. Grin, uh, <laughs> Grin will kind of like look over a little bit and go, yeah, yeah, he can have that one. <laughs> uh, are you guys leaving the, the weapons? Yeah. I'm not taking There's no really way we can carry them, right? Uh, I will take I'll take the other gems if nobody else is grabbing them. I'll um, I'll just carry the weapons in my arms to give to the farmers. Actually, maybe I'll take one crossbow because I don't ranged weapon. What is the plan with the gems to sell them for the the group? Uh, we have yes. a I'm bringing it up. <laughs> they do not sell want us for the That's group. True. They may belong to the farmers. Stolen from someone. <laughs> yeah, I think we should totally sell these for all of us. But do not belong to us. What? <laughs> but hey, uh, listen. Have you ever heard of the rule "finders keepers"? Huh? Finders Find keepers, keep- Ellie. Yeah. Yeah. You- yep. Can you imagine if you lost something very dear to you, and then I loses weepers, Ellie. Loses weepers. My passive insight seventeen. <laughs> I you totally know it. Losers <laughs> weepers. That's good. Yep. You see, it rhymes. That's the that's the thing. Many of these people's things that were stolen. She sort of gestures towards the sheepskin. Have been destroyed or, or lost value. Yeah, these guys weren't really too careful with the things, huh? We can use things like, if she like motions her arm full of crossbows and scimitars, we can use things like the weapons and the gems to make up for that. We can also just point them back here. To yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, huh? Just tell them, hey, your stuff's back at the cave. You'll find it all here, there. Here. Everything you're looking there for. I don't think we can. Can we actually carry all these in? You probably could carry, like... Crossbows are big. Yeah, like you might crossbows. be able to hold like two crossbows each, but then you're trying to like handle very sharp scimitars. Like you might be able to take like half and half or like all the crossbows, but I don't think you can take everything. Can I shove a scimitar in the pig? Um, <laughs> I, I mean, you could attempt it. That's a question. Is hey, there is there anything in the academy handbook about stealing? Um, don't get caught. There, <laughs> so I feel there, there there's be. more guidelines. Like there's not necessarily rules. Right. And, more like guidelines. 
in, in the rule books they they have like jokes and snickering <laughs> and like well only an idiot gets caught so you know it's in the sidebars <laughs> scroll to the sidebars before magically copying it's like a penis drone in the in the margin it's i'm sure you're fine <laughs> Um, Rachel, you are you feeding the the pig? No, I'm not. No, uh, Melandra's gonna lay the sheepskin down on the ground and then pile all of the crossbows and scimitars up on it and say, "Samathras, will you help me with this?" And she's gonna like pick up one into the sheepskin. Yes. Look at that ingenuity. All right. So you guys. Does anyone else want a scimitar or a crossbow before? No. Okay. I don't think so. There's still a gym in the party sheet. If someone's snagging it. Sure, Grin's stealing it right now. <laughs> Why is that coming over? You need me to do it? Uh, Grin. Uh huh. Done. Next time, this is in your brain. Next uh -huh. time, do you want me to let you kill these people? Next time, just let me do my thing. I like it when people let me do my thing. <laughs> I did not stop you from doing your thing. Listen, listen. I only looked at you. You know what? Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. Forget about it. And this time I mean it. Forget about it. I, I will not. How do I shut this thing off? <laughs> Just to wait to he, he nods. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go. Um, <laughs> as, as you walk out into the... the the daylight. Uh, Andy, how does your, your light thing work when they're going into bright light? Uh, there's no rules about it, but okay. all, all the rules, by the rules, it turns dark light into dim and dim light into bright. doesn't say what it does with bright light. Alright, so everyone make a perception check at disadvantage. Oh, no. I forgot uh, that was a pen! <laughs> Eleven. It's not bad. Alright, so you guys uh, you head out of the the cave into um, kind of the setting sun. Uh, it's in your eyes. It's extremely bright. and causes you to kind of wince from the, the, the sheer heat and sun of it. Um, you do kind of make out the shadows of two figures in the road. Um, they um, I'm just going to dump you guys back on the map. Yeah. Uh, but you see two figures in the road uh, down by the bridge, uh, but it, it's it's hard to make out um, from where you're at. Hey, who are those two figures down by the bridge? They're in short bow range. Are they? <laughs> uh, I can go talk to them. Yeah, let's go see what they want. I'm gonna follow behind Sabathras and Ishnu and Melandra. I'll go in the back. <laughs> are you uh, are you hiding? Yeah. I'm Roll sneak. your stealth. Here it goes. <laughs> Wham bam! Thank you, ma'am. Yep. Seven. Uh, you guys uh, uh, lead the way, and you keep hearing like the rustling of leaves. Damn it. Uh, as Grin like. I feel like the fit on this arm is a little bit off. Just a little bit off. <laughs> uh, who's, who's, who's leading this charge? Grin is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, they'll never know we're coming. I shout. <laughs> Stay real quiet! <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> By the time you guys get to probably around this area, is there more to that, Rachel? What? Oh, huh? I thought you said something. Maybe it came through. Um, so as you guys are getting closer, Savathris, it's you that notice uh, the one figure is uh, a lady with golden hair, and her hand is up in a passive way. Uh, and the other one seems to be. Um, uh, teenage boy. Um, and as you guys kind of get closer, you see the familiar face of Lady Angelica standing uh, with a very yes. familiar 
man who was knocked unconscious earlier. She's an Asimar. She's got Asimar eyes. Maybe. You don't know her. You don't know her backstory. You never I even asked. I'm sorry. We uh, like What's on her necklace? Nothing. It didn't. The Witcher. The Witcher. Just... Witcher symbol. <laughs> Part of the school of the wolf. She's been Geraltin. <laughs> <laughs> to part of the school of the raptor. <laughs> you don't know her. She's fine. Uh, as as you guys get closer, she kind of hails you. Ah, I see you are a good choice for the lady. Though, grin, and she just kind of like leans over, and you're like halfway through a, through a bush. <laughs> I roll out, and I'm just covered in like burrs and stuff. Ow, 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 ow. I mean, what's happened to you? I mean, she once told me you ate someone's lunch while they were talking to you, and they had no idea. Now yeah, listen, I'm just, I'm having an off day. Don't worry about it. Off day? <laughs> you and me, jeez. <laughs> when you dove into that bush earlier, I almost laughed out loud. You would have seen oh, you me saw... hiding in the bushes. You saw that? <laughs> oh, I saw it. I was about five feet from you. You didn't even notice me. Ooh. That's embarrassing. So yeah, we did the thing. <laughs> I, I noticed, and you uh, even looks like secured a couple things. Though, Savathris, you uh, well, let's say surprised me a little bit. You left Philip here, knocked down, unconscious, and when he came to, he saw me sitting here, just smiling at him. And the first thing he says to me, get this, he goes, "You could be anything, anything you choose." <laughs> Choose well, <laughs> dick. <laughs> but here he is, looking to make a choice. So, I guess he did something right. He's been doing that a lot it. lately. Yeah, some other kid ran past me about five minutes before you got out, screaming like a child. Oh, he's going to the academy. Oh, Maybe. I don't know where he's going. He's going to a loony bin. Only the very best for the Radiant Academy. <laughs> Well, speaking of which, I uh, had a talk with Mr. Johnson here. Apparently, he is making a good choice. I've uh, talked Your to name's him. Name's Philip Johnson. Yeah, Philip Johnson. <laughs> He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh boy. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna work off some debt with uh, Farmer Chase, and by the looks of it, maybe return some merchandise that he stole. Probably could help you out there. Uh, he gestures, uh, she gestures to Savathras. Well, either way, it's late. I've been hiding in a bush most of the day, and I'm fucking tired. I could use a drink. Here, here. Well, Mr. Johnson, why don't you uh, alleviate them of their things, and if you don't make your way to Mr. Uh, Chase... I'll kill you myself. She like kicks him in the ass. Well, apprentices, to home. And she just like turns around without waiting and just starts walking away. Listen, Philip, I got I got a question for you. Do these guys have like a stupid name requirement to get in with the gang? I mean, what's going on with that? <laughs> I mean, I don't. You know, I didn't have really anything else to do and. <laughs> It seemed like a cool thing. Uh, have you tried, uh... Soccer? <laughs> I mean... That other kid liked to fish. But... You know... Like, uh, I'll, I'll look into that. Soccer. Here, here. This will get you on your way. I'm gonna throw in the tackle box. <laughs> oh. Gee. Thanks. Keep that. That's on me. That's from me. This looks really familiar, but... Okay. <laughs> you earned it, kid. You earned it. Um, he's he's going to walk over and um, he's going to gesture for you guys to kind of drop the uh, the pelt. Uh, and he's going to try to hoist it onto his back. The gem <laughs> that, were, that were down there. Where did you find these gems? Well, all over. We, we took them from everywhere. Uh, you know, farmers, merchants in the street. Whatever looked out, we took.
I, uh... Angelica said I should probably hurry, so... I'm gonna take that off your hands now. Okay. And he's gonna, like... <laughs> like Just be oversize. sure you actually return the, the items. Uh, he's gonna look at you and go, I I'm, I'm pretty sure if I don't, she's gonna kill me while I sleep. Nah, it's more of a thing to make sure you're awake first. <laughs> and he like <laughs> hoists part of it over his shoulder and just like hobble and drags it down the road. Uh, it's too easy. <laughs> so was you a kind of you did grin. What? Ah, no, I was just fucking with a kid. <laughs> Where are you? Listen, can we go already? I want that drink. <laughs> you hear a I'm already halfway there! <laughs> From like, over the bridge. I'll buy! I wink and flip one of the gems in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do with these gems? Hmm? I know a guy. I've never seen such wealth. <laughs> well, you just don't know where to look. Let's uh, let's the head back. Found, the one you found, Grin, is particularly shiny. Yeah, it is, huh? He holds it up and, and looks at it. I'm going to inspect it. Is there anything out of the ordinary with this gem? I don't know. Roll your investigation. Can I roll my nothing for free. <laughs> no, investigation, damn it. Yeah. Not disadvantage. <laughs> the sun's in your eye. 15's uh, still bit, not bad. 15. Um, it's a pretty nice gem. Um, not like a perfect gem. You, you see a couple imperfections as you like hold it up to the sun, but it's it's pretty nice. Hmm. I kind of roll it over my fingers and then catch it again. Should catch a pretty penny. For whoever we give it back to. <laughs> <laughs> he actually laughs while saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of arcanists and uh, artificers using such gems in their inventions. Perhaps yeah. it would become useful. We know any of those? Not offhand. Not in this country. Hmm. Well, I guess that's that then. Molly, how are you feeling? Wait, wait. Let well, me get. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I. We survived today. We accomplished what we set out to do. We have done a service to the farmers who are harassed by these bandits, and we have started to pay off our debt to Calliope. You all yeah. see Carmen? This new kind of puts his arms around everybody and. Gives, gives you all a kind of awkward smile. Well done. I think we showed some great teamwork today. Yeah, we're pretty fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go. I would surely have been dead if not for all of your efforts. And I... Thank you. You know what? You're welcome. Listen to us. We're all grateful. <laughs> You're rubbing off on us, Melly. <laughs> They're rubbing off on us. I, I literally could have died. Thank you. It's it's not a huge thing to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we're fucking cool and not schmucks or tools. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, it sounds like she's waiting for us. It sounds like she might already be there. <laughs> I'm going to uh, skip off toward where Lady uh, Angelica went. So you guys uh, make your way out of the woods, uh, following the very detailed notes of Ishnu. Um, and a after you kind of make it out into the clearing, the, the sun is uh, is setting. Uh, but you guys can see pretty well. Uh, and she's just kind of like sitting there, just like throwing rocks. Um, God, it's about time. Well, back to the... Uh, Back to the Radiant Academy, I guess. Come on, I'll show oh, you a cool. secret way. Secret? All right. 
Well, there's got to be perks to, you know, join in, of course. Uh, so she she leads you guys back into uh, back into the city, um, and this time she takes you past where the entrance to the Radiant Academy is, uh, and she takes you to um, a site that um, many of you have have been to or seen. It, it's the old amphitheater. Uh, it's a uh, it's located right meow, uh, no. on the even on the Mippy map. I remember. Um, so um, she leads you to the stage, um, and by now the crowds have kind of uh, dissipated. The, the the merchants selling just like the popcorn and randomness have, have faded and, and walked away as the sun uh, is now almost set in the sky. Sky. Um, hey. On the center of the stage, um, there is a statue in the dead center. It's a, it's a very robust statue. Um, it's, it's made of, um, metals, uh, there's some inlays of gold and silver, um, but there's, uh, six figures standing there. Um, I thought I'd burp, but I don't have to burp. Nope. Drop, uh, nope, there it was, sorry. Yeah. It was delayed. Um, on the center of the stage, uh, is, uh, six figures standing, uh, heroically looking off into the horizons, um. And as she kind of stands, uh, walks up on the stage, Angelica kind of smiles warmly and um, kind of nods to these these figures, uh, and then steps through and vanishes behind them. Yeah, yeah I've been there the whole time. To see if she like walked through a door or something. Uh, yeah, you can make a um, Arcana or a uh, in. Um, Investigation or perception? I'll allow it. I prefer perception. I also oh. prefer perception. Oh, well, it's about time. <laughs> the rolls that matter, Dane. You see her walk up to the the statue, and it's probably a good uh, fifteen feet high, uh, maybe fifteen feet wide. Like this is a larger than life statue. Uh, of these six heroic figures. There's a... Um, Green, you notice that there's a plaque on the ground as you kind of like watch her almost phase through it. Okay. Um, there's there's almost like a shimmer for a moment and then uh, she walks through it. Um, that also... Uh, you hear her say something under her voice as she kind of like walks uh, and you see two small... Well, they're not small, but two plaques. They're probably about a foot uh, wide and about six inches high with uh, writing on them. Hmm. Oh, and, um, uh, Andy, it seems to be some sort of um, magical enchantment uh, that allowed her to just just literally walk right through it. Huh. Touch where the shimmer was. Or where I saw the shimmer. Yeah, you touch? Yeah touched it good um you kind of uh reach out your hand and it just like right into the the hard metal do we remember that wish she spoke um i heard her say something i don't know what it was it, it definitely seemed to end with uh douche lore. oh you know what we heard yeah i heard that before oh mighty douche lore. hope you know i know what you I passed on my perception check to overhear what they said because I don't need eavesdrop. Uh, you did, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it had something oh, okay. to do with uh, <clears throat> kiss my ass, douche lore. Um, yeah. And uh, Grin, did you say that out loud? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I said, "Oh, mighty douche lore." <laughs> uh, make a make Keep a dexterity. You. Open this thing. Make a dexterity check with uh, right. advantage. Dexterity check with advantage. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> guys. You hear this, like, Ever. flick, and then from out of um, Frederick's junk is this coin that just, like, flies through the air and hits you square in the face. Ow! <laughs> Well, you got part of it right. She kind of steps back out. Um, 
Did you catch ah. the coin? Well, obviously I didn't. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> ting, 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 ting. I'll pick it up. I say, why did this thing come out of that guy's crotch? Well, I threw it at you. I thought you were a rogue or something. <laughs> uh, apparently not today. Huh. I'm uh, gonna say, how do we get it? How do we get in here? <laughs> uh, you got part of it. I just really wanted to see. I'm gonna be honest. No, no recruits have ever figured it out. But Grin, you got so flipping close. Here's the secret, uh, and she hands the other three of you a coin, uh, and on one side is a, is a, um, what looks to be a gold piece, but as you flip it over, uh, you see this. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and, and she goes, this is just what part of the secret passage? You need the coin... And the saying. But we actually need to drop a pants? Because that nope. is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, you can. I've heard rumors. The uh, the more fun the the phrase or interesting, the more I'm gonna, fun I'm it gonna is. whisper over to Melandra. I heard rumor that uh, Calliope actually has that tattoo on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Angelica leans in. Pretty sure you're right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, you, uh, all hail douche lore. All hail douche lore. All hail douche lore. Uh, tries it and steps forward. Uh, you, as you uh, finish it, um, you walk right through, and there's a, a trap door um, below. It's it's you know it's open. You can clearly see it as soon as you kind of walk through. It. Oh, it's right here. Huh. Well, I'm going to follow her down. Uh, excellent. Um, she is, uh, she leads you guys uh, for a short walk down through um, just a short tunnel. Um, and as you um, make the way to the end of the tunnel, there is a um, another uh, door. And um, she just simply walks through it and into the Radiant Academy headquarters you walk. Oh, um, do. You, 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 uh, you walk through uh, another side that you uh, had not come from before. It's almost a different angle. Uh, this time you're walking past the bar. Um, oh, do. <laughs> and you hear a, hey, Gnarl. And a, like a deep, raspy, rattling voice go, Hey, Angelica. Nice looking meat you got there. Um, so, well, boy, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> um, don't mind him. He's a softy. Somebody should get him a lozenge. <laughs> well, I mean, fuck. Where is he? Where's my That's guy? That's a new guy. No, this is a new guy. Uh. That's Gnarl. He's okay. There we go. Work. Um, <clears throat> he looks after the place, you know, in the evenings when uh, the other guy goes to bed. You know? Work on different shifts. Uh, you guys do notice that as you're walking past uh, Gnarl, uh, there's a message board that you didn't fully see the first time that you walked through. Um, and it... Um, there we go. Uh, you see a message board uh, as you kind of walk past. Um, you see a couple of titles that kind of jump out at you. Uh, like, Dragon Threatens the Coast and Catch a Thief. Um, rhyme. Settle down. <laughs> um, and uh, Angelica kind of um, welcomes you to uh, a side seat. Um, wait here. She goes back up the gnarl. Side quests. Some victory. Some victory drinks. Uh, okay, Angelica. Uh, make them real strong. 
whatever you need. <laughs> um, she comes back. So, tell me about it. How do you assholes do? Well, it was a pretty epic battle. We, uh, first of all, caught them off guard. Didn't even see us coming. And then from there, it was just a little boom here, a little pow here. Pretty sure Melly Ninja kicked a guy. <laughs> and, uh, got the stuff back. Pretty much your average hero-y kind of deal. Huh. Okay. I, I do recall at one point, uh, Grin and Samothrace fell into a pit, but they used excellent teamwork to recover and climb no, out. No, That's true. Uh, no, it's okay. It was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, I imagine you guys walking in, being really loud, and setting off a whole bunch of traps, but that's that's better. That's even better than I imagined. Falling right. in a pit. Listen, we, we got a little bit of rust that we got to we gotta rush off, but I thought we did pretty good overall. <laughs> We're all alive, huh? That's that's true, though uh, there's a lot of dried blood on your... It, you're going to have to sleep that off. <laughs> I'm gonna look down at my armor, wherever the hole from the 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 wound that I received is. And I'm just gonna kind of <laughs> dip my hand in the drink and just kind of rub rub it off. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. It's good. Looks great. You're gonna. You know what? And a gnarl comes over. Here you go, mess. Just like slaps <laughs> them down. They're like dark, dark ales. Um, Whoa. and they're they're like the gallon containers. <laughs> Here's to a new recruit. Um, and like <laughs> walks away, just like boom, 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 uh, back up to the bar. Well, means you uh you're official uh officially in the Radiant Academy. So I'll choose to that. The new recruits. Though I'm I'm like holding them with both I'm holding them with both my hands because <laughs> it's like so big. <laughs> Maybe we got like a straw or a sippy thing. Yeah, it's for you managing. <laughs> I'm good. So, here's what I can tell you. Your recruits are over. You're now officially members. And with that come uh, certain privileges. You've got the coins. It allows you in one secret entrance. And as you find others, well, use them. Uh, as you, uh, say, continue your exploits um <clears throat> we'll even tell you others maybe uh help you get in and out of places when need to but uh know that when you stay here food drinks they're they're on us uh when you take a mission if you choose so see gnarl or lordum i forget his name that's close <laughs> uh Lord Bomb, just call him Lorb. Um, they'll pay you out. Pretty simple stuff, really. Uh, there's a couple of different uh, guilds, if you will, throughout the city. You got the merchants, you got the thieves guild. Yeah, we help them out every now and again. Not stealing stuff, usually. Just help them keep the balance. We got the Wizards College, and of course, the Republic of Seesaw herself. So, what do you want to know? I want to know everything. <laughs> oh. yeah. hold, hold on. <laughs> um, I mean... So, uh... So we do jobs for these other guilds. Or just for people off the street? Is that up, the gist? Up to you. People on the guild board have uh, come to Calliope in one way or another and, uh, you know, asked for help. Paid, so, uh, paid good there any, for it. If there are any new jobs, we'll find them over on this board over here. Yep. So far, uh, Gnarl put those up this evening, except for that dragon <laughs> quest. No one's man enough to take it on. I'm trying to find a couple more morons to come with me. We're going to take it down, but it's a big uh. dragon. We might leave that one. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> well, I feel like we're a team now. We should have a, a democratic way of choosing. 
if if taking out a dragon would be the most beneficial to Calliope, then we should do oh. that. She she looks at you for a moment <laughs> and laughs and then just like downs her beer. <laughs> Maybe. Might not be beneficial to her if we're all dead. Melandra. Maybe, maybe avoid that one for <laughs> now. But hey, I'm only your mentor here in a sense that I kept you alive during your first mission. After that, eh. and we are so grateful for that and for all you've done. We are very grateful. <laughs> so, what are these rats creatures? They sound frightening. Ah, oh, rats, rats, rats. Oh, that was put out by the, uh, I totally know this. Hold on a moment. There we go. The Thieves Guild put that up. Apparently some rats, uh, you know, infestated their, uh, one of their entrances and exits, and they've, uh... Hey, my great-grandpa was a rat. Well, hopefully he's not down there. You're gonna have to kill him if you take that job. Just kidding. But they're willing to pay an extra 25 gold per tail, so... <laughs> I mean... A little bit delayed, buddy. we got to work on your timing. <laughs> so why, why don't I start here? Look, there's, there's four different things that uh, pop up with quests. Some people don't like to do things for the Thieves' Guild. Others don't give a crap. The Merchants... Um, and she kind of points out a poster that shows, uh, shows a seal. Um... You know, they usually give orders for missing merchants, uh, protect caravans, uh, pay for goods and whatnot. Typically, you know, easier on the conscious if you'd like. Uh, always on the up and up, if you know what I mean. Then you got the Thieves Guild. Uh, oh shit, they have different seals. Yeah, I see that now. Um, Jesus. They did a lot of work. So the, uh, the Thieves Guild, um, you know... You know what? On second thought, I don't think we're going to do any of these. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's, it's fine. I only built the dragon. Um, so, um, you know, they usually uh, go for jobs that uh, they feel they can't do on their own. Maybe they need someone, you know, got, 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 you know, taken out, dealt with, roughed up, you know, whatever. Sometimes they want you to Nasty, find someone huh? for them. But, huh. again... Kind of a gray area. It's whatever you're uh, you're feeling you're up for. So there's a thieves guild. There's the merchants guild. There's a wizards college. Which one's that? Uh huh. That one. Oh. Um, they're more on the strange and unusual. <laughs> Can be pretty dangerous. Mostly monsters. You know, things that wizards find and they think, well, this isn't good to keep alive. And they ask for our help. And last, but not least, the Republic of Seesaw herself. Usually the most dangerous, typically it's for the better of the city itself. Usually only offered to very seasonal, uh, seasoned academy personnel. These have the glory in it. Given from I... Lady Orga herself. Damn, she's hot. And she, she kind of points to a, to a picture on the, on the sidewall. Oh yeah, we met her. Or we saw a picture of her. Yeah. She's she's hanging out there. But uh She's on the counter. If you need me, I'm here. I'll answer questions. But, you know, I run my own missions, I run my own boards. Haven't really found a crew I like yet. Well, that stayed alive. And uh, you know. That's the Radiant Academy for you. Cool. Oh. So, uh, now go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say one one more thing. I almost forgot. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, when you complete a job, you might want to bring kind of proof. But it's up to you. Gnarl's a little nicer than uh, Lorb, so uh, you know, he's your own. He is nicer than the dwarf. And um, anything you find on your missions. Well, it's yours. Do what you want with it. I will pat uh, Grin on the shoulder and say, we will be ready for anything. And Grin, you, sir, have a blessing. 
Vigilant blessing. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessing. You're a your vision next uh, initiative check. Nice. Speaking of which, roll initiative. No, oh, I'm, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, you all have douchler coins, though. Let me go drag those to you. Yeah, yeah, we need those. That douchler coin. I, on I have me. copious notes in my one note about all these message boards. Start a new page. Message board page. Good. Nice. Nice. Oh, I don't know if you noticed this, but if you click on the message board, the little icons. I don't know if you can see those images. Can you see them? Yep, yep. And they can yep, pop out. They pop up. I made them so you can read them easier. Oh. You did a nice job, Ed. I'm not messing around. I mean that. I'm messing nice. around. Um, let me make sure you guys all get doucheler coins. So I'm going to carry my uh, mug and walk over to the message board and uh, look at all the things. So. I pass out at the table. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess it is getting kind of late, huh? I'm just real hurt. <laughs> so, uh, which one of these we want to do next? There we go. All the douchelor coins have been given out. Freaking caves, huh? That sounds interesting to me. I'd always like to investigate new and interesting creatures. Dark. Yeah. You guys have been around Savathras enough to know that he probably wouldn't care what you picked. Yep. Yeah. Should be should be easy enough, right? Just gotta go look what's in there. Huh. Defend themselves. Well. I'm gonna tear the uh, Shrieking Caves off of the message board. You, no you now own Shrieking Caves. Alright. So, I think we should do this one. I slap it down on the table. Next to, uh, Savvy's head. <laughs> Mother, I cannot come home. <laughs> Sounds like he's having a very sad dream. Seems to be smiling. <laughs> well, what do you think? It sounds good to me. I would like to investigate these caves. Probably not a bad idea to take a little uh, little rest before we do this, though. Ishni kind of looks down at uh, at his shoulder where the uh, bolt had entered, and he's, "Oh yes, it seems that I'm injured. I should probably take care of that." Yeah, it looks like you're still bleeding there, buddy. <laughs> Awesome. I think I think that is a good place to stop for. Oh, yeah.